Hello everybody, welcome to episode 9, I believe, of Duck's World, and I am happy to be here again after quite a substantial break um, from recording videos, so um, I do apologize for that, but I am back again today. Um, and before we get started too far, you may notice something different about the floor here in the barn slash temporary base. I actually put down some andesite. Now I did this mainly... Um, because I'm trying to get a block pallet for an industrial floor, which is what the base is, what the base's floor is going to be, and I figured that that would be some the andesite kind of uh, grayish uh, combined with maybe some uh, polished polished stone, I think, uh, or polished andesite might uh, I think might work well, um, and that's kind of the industrial look that I went. And then I also had some extra, so I experimented here with this campfire to kind of see if I could get some sort of natural build going with some uh, stones here and then a little bit of a gradient um, however I don't think I did that well but I still like the little setup I think it's kind of cool um, but other than that I think that's all that I I've, I've really done in between episodes of any value I did take our little uh, our little overlook over there and I did put did put some ladders up there on uh, on that uh, stone pillar just so we can get up there a little bit easier um, Speaking of which, let's go and do our water bucket challenge right now, just so we've got it done here at the, fir the first uh, first part of the episode. Um, and while I'm heading over there, I did want to let you guys know that there is a little bit of a change of plan in this episode. I told you that um, in the last episode I was going to be working on getting the stone generator fixed as well as doing some mining. I'm actually going to hold off on those two things right now. There's some things that I... Um, after some consideration thought were a little bit more of a priority so I, I do apologize for that um, I mean it is my series so I guess I can do whatever I want however uh, I didn't didn't prepare you guys well enough for what I actually ended up doing so I do apologize for that but um, nonetheless we are going to do as we always do the water bucket challenge and we got it this time let's go kind of we kind of got it <laughs> it worked we got it um, that was a success. Let's see if we can repeat it a second time. But um, other than that, I am going to let you guys know right now that today's episode is going to be a little bit unique um, because I'm just kind of going to kind of go exploring. I think that would be cool. I uh, failed that time. But um, I feel like I haven't done much exploring in this video since episode two when I tried to find the village. Um, so we're going to go do that here in a moment. Um, but... Other than that, um, I'm just going to get some stuff prepared, a little bit more food, um, maybe get some better tools, and I'll catch you guys in a second. So I lied. We only have two iron ingots, um, so we won't be replacing our iron tools right now. Um, so I'm going to rely on some stone, some stone tools right now. Um, however, we will probably change that real quick. But one thing that we're going to do right now then um, is, first of all, we are going to grab some stone, which we actually don't have in this chest. So we're going to have to go get some stone um, just for some repl replacement tools. Um, but also, I kind of started a mini tree farm here um, in between episodes. So I'm going to just take some wood from here. Um, so we've got sticks and whatnot um, when necessary. Um, but other than that, that's about it that I think I've done in between episodes. I had like 10 minutes after my last recording session. I just went ahead and did some stuff. Um, I was trying to do just some in-between stuff that wasn't too intensive because I didn't want to you know, ruin the experience by doing a lot of it off camera. But I still wanted to do a little bit, um, a little bit to get, get me to where I need to be um, in terms of being prepared to do stuff. Um, but... I think I'll just uh, take this, this wood, make a temporary wood pickaxe from this um, so that I can get some stone to make a stone pickaxe and get some stone tools. Because um, that way we've got a little bit of some leeway as to what exactly we need to do um, in terms of replacement tools. Because I don't really want to use my iron tools. In fact, so I don't they don't break actually going to leave them wi here w without me I think that I'll that'll end up working the best 
that way we don't have to worry about um, anything anything going terribly wrong while we're gone. Um, but other than that, let's just get some stone right here. Um, it shouldn't be too intensive, I don't think. Um, let's just stay away from mobs because I sound I hear the sound of a zombie. Um, it's pretty loud, but I don't need a ton of stone just in case I need to replace some tools. Um, so I'll get those prepared and then we're gonna go exploring. So I'll catch it in one second. So as it turns out, just this little bit of digging found me a little bit of iron. So I'm gonna take it back uh, to my little starter base and get it ready and get it started um, smelting. Um, but I'm gonna take out this zombie now that I have a bow because I, I did prepare that in between episodes because why not? Um, makes me feel a little bit more accomplished. Um, so now we've got this iron. We're gonna just go right back up. Come on. Um, but, there. So we got a little bit of iron, not very much, but it's enough to, you know, say we got some iron. Um, but with 17 cobblestone, I think I got enough stone for um, stone tools for now, um, just so we're not wasting the, uh, the iron that we did just get. Um, so I'm gonna smelt that real, real quick, grab a boat, and we'll go down um, on an exploration. So what our little exploration will be, will be just down this river. I'm gonna hope that it just, uh, just stays as a river down through here a little bit. Um, that, that dead ends already. <laughs> but um, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm just gonna try to see if I can find some sort of um, building of some sort, either a desert temple or um, I don't know, a woodland mansion, although I'm not prepared to do that at all. Um, just kind of to see, get the lay of the land, see if there's anything else around here. Um, but I'm going to try to stay close so I don't lose what I'm, where I am. I mean, I've got the record, I've got the coordinates saved, but I don't want to really have to travel too far to find it. Um, but at the same time, I do kind of want to see if there's anything else around here that could help me, uh, further my pro while also just finding something that's kind of kind of exciting to explore um, and if I knew how to do a boat properly this would be helpful and if my game won't keep lagging that would also be helpful um, but we're just gonna see what there is um, but other than that I'll just give you guys a progress update when there's something of interest around so after quite a bit of uh, trips um, around here they're kind of splits off a branch this is the end branch of the river i've found nothing of any value particularly um there's some coal here which i might grab um, just because it's it's a resource that i will keep needing um but i haven't found anything particularly of any value so i'm actually going to call this a bust already and go back after i collect this um collect this coal just because it it's it did I didn't get anything um, I was looking for maybe a desert temple just so I could get maybe um, some more diamonds or some other uh, resources of that type here around here but I haven't gotten any of it um, so I'm gonna call this a bust unfortunately however um, it was still a cool experience and it's getting night so I do kind of want to get back to my base um, I've been kind of just rolling away from danger for the last couple nights and I'd rather not if I can help it um, but I'll just catch you guys when I get back um, and we'll maybe go mining after all today so after returning to the base I have found nothing of any particular interest of what I've collected um, so I mean I got a couple fish from fishing for food. And I had the suspicious stew before I left, but other than that, I didn't really get anything. So, um, I'm thinking I might mine a little bit, maybe. Um, I really don't want to, I'm gonna be honest, because I've died in the mines so much um, that I really just don't want to. It's not enjoyable to me. Um, 
so I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I might actually just sit here and fish until I figure out if something of something that is better. Oh, and it's raining. Of course. Um, but I might just wait until there's something of some value um, that I want to do. I might do some base work, but I need, I need, uh, I really need to get some better tools before then. Um, but I don't have that ability. So, um, I don't know. I'll see. Give me a minute and I'll let you know what the plan is. I'm sorry for this, guys, but I don't know what I want to do. So, two things. One, it's still raining for some reason and I can't sleep through the rain. Two, I'm going to only have one, um, one iron ingot left, but I'm just going to do a stone pickaxe and a stone shovel right now. Um, and I think all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working on the base. And I'm just going to see how far we get. Um, I'm procrastinating from my mining right now. I'll need to do it at some point, but I don't really want to. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to head over to the base and start working on it. Um, and we'll just keep working until until I want to be done. Um, I apologize for this episode, but it's kind of just I really don't want to do what I said I was going to do. And because I don't want to do that, I actually don't have a plan. So we're just going to kind of wing it, um, which isn't my style usually, but we're just going to see what what happens here. Um, but it should be good nonetheless. Um, so we're just going to start, start plowing away at taking out some of the stone, because why not? So I'll catch you guys when I've got a better progress update for you. So I ended up going to the very most northwest corner of my base and I dug as far down as I want to take the base. Um, so as you can tell, it's quite a distance, um, but this should give us enough space for all that I want to do. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to just kind of walk corners with this um, and gradually work my way up because I don't really have a way to gauge how far I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do this in all all the corners of my base. Um, so that way we kind of know how whereabouts we're trying to go from here. So I'm just going to go in my corners that way I can connect them all up later um, and do the same. And this wasn't exactly what I was planning on doing in terms of finding corners, but it'll work. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to just take the very most corner here and we're going to do this. Just kind of dig down slowly just in case there's lava. Actually, I know this is an old technique. Um, sorry about that uh, awful cut. Um, I have my key binds for my recording button set to the same button that I did for the toggle sprint. So it really messed up. So what I was going to say is an old technique is to take this water bucket here um, and place it as you're digging down just in case there's lava. But then I realized that in the Caves and Cliffs update, it's not really necessary um, because there's a lot less likelihood of going into lava. So what I did in between clips while I was trying to say that as I ended up just digging down to this to what I think is the same depth, although I'm not sure I didn't record it um, or did, I didn't like uh, write write down where abouts I was. So now I'm just going going kind of going in the same line and hoping that I hit it. Um, and if I need to go deeper, I can go deeper. And if I need to go shallower, I can go shallower. But where the first one was set at the depth is where I want it. So now I've just got to find it um, real quick. So I'll catch you guys when I do that. One thing that I do like about digging down for a base is I can find ores like this in the process of actually building my base. So the base actually, before it's even built, is already helping me out um, with resources, which is always cool. Um, I still haven't found the corner yet, but I'm getting distracted by coal. Um, but then again, it's coal and I will always need it. So I'm going to just collect this before moving on. Um, but like I said, I will catch you guys in when I find the corner, if I find the corner. Um, but we'll just keep plowing away. 
So I may have made a wrong turn. So I was walking through here and I almost walked right into the creepers that are sitting right down there. And I'm not sure if this is actually where I'm supposed to be. However, I'm not staying around to find out. I just placed water so they, they can get up. That was stupid. Um, but. Where did I place that water? How did I get that? Um, I don't know. What I'm going to do so that I don't end up dying is I'm actually going to go back over here. And I'm going to find a different way up. Or a different way around because I'm not sure if that's the right direction actually. Um, and I would hate to be the one to die and lose my items in my own base. That would not be good. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the stone that I have and I am going to do after I dig this out I only digged one deep no I didn't okay um I'm going to do just uh did just dig one deep okay um yeah I'm just gonna find out how to get over there without the big the big cliff I guess um which is kind of unfortunate um we'll be all right I actually don't like this. Um, I don't like my position I'm in because I don't I don't want to dig the corner back out later. So um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do because I I don't want to die again in that cliff uh, in that cave. But I also don't want to have to dig what I'm doing right now this pillar again out again. Um, so I'm actually gonna go back down, although it takes forever, and I'm just gonna see see what the plan is here i don't know um it's just the fact that i don't want to die um that, that scares me um so what i am going to do is i'm going to cut this because that's the height that i actually want the base to be this is one too deep um what i could do is i could put more torches up because I'm stupid um, I can do that and see a little bit better oh falling in nope nope not a fan not a fan not a fan don't push me don't push me don't push me don't push me get rid of the get rid of the water okay okay so we can at least see that the mobs are gone it's an interesting way to use crop crafting benches i will say um but what i'm gonna do since it doesn't look like it's that big of a deal so i'm just going to do this and just dig along and pretend that that doesn't exist and worry about it later although i'll regret that <laughs> But look at that. I solved a problem without even wanting to or trying to. <laughs> but there we go. That doesn't exist. Until we make a mob farm, that doesn't exist. Because then we'll have to light it up. Um, but nonetheless, I'm just going to keep going. I'm sorry, that was just me falafeling around. And I left it in for a big clip. But that's okay. Um, but I'll catch you guys when I actually finally get to this corner. So, I had a problem. I was looking at my coordinates because I went way too far one direction. So, what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be digging this corner out, which is the corner that I started with because I went too far deep that time. And so I need to connect them up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back down on this side to connect them all up. So sorry for this confusion. I apologize that this makes probably zero sense um, to anybody that's watching. But all that I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this far deep until I find it. Which 
because I went back and checked, shouldn't be too far. Um, I'm looking 43. Okay, yep, this right here. This is where this is where we had the uh, little little um, misfire with the cave. So right, the cave was the corner. That's embarrassing, um, but I guess doable. If I can ever find where I actually just fell from. Okay, so there, there's the corner. Um, since this is a corner, I'm actually going to take this one deeper and just do this all one deeper. Um, all the way over because I want to make it all level and this is bothering me already and I haven't even like layered it out um, but that being said this took me a long time and it's painful for me to say how long it took um, because I'm also using stone tools because I'm just trying to prevent myself from ruining any iron tools until I have more iron um, that also means that I've been running through my wood supply pretty quickly. The good thing is, is I can use stone tools because there's so much stone here. And because I'm, I mean, I'm literally digging stone. So I don't have to worry necessarily about running out of that as a resource. Um, and I can then use it for my base later on. The big thing is, is Quite frankly, this is a lot of work for literally no results. None that anybody can see anyways. Um, but we're here. We're back. <laughs> um, but, I mean, all, all I did was establish one side of a perimeter. But I did uncover iron. Admittedly, it was one. And I don't have any space for it in my inventory. What don't, what don't I need? I don't need the bowl. Why do I have, why do I still have that stupid suspicious stew bowl? There's no reason for me to have that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just pillar back up and I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, quite frankly, this took me way too long. Um, but we'll, we'll just kind of have to see, we'll have to play it by ear. And as I said, I was going up. I'm actually not going to go up. I'm not going to go up here because I want to save that for what it what there is. Um, it's more iron. I'll take the I'll take the iron because um, I need it because I don't want to use my iron tools. Um, but what I'm going to do actually is this where is this the end? Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here at the end is I'm just going to mark that off with something different um what could i have that's unusual i'll put the oak stairs there and the oak because i actually might use use that uh little cave thing as a mob spawner that's actually a good i good place for one and there might even be one there i'm not sure um but that is to mark that that uh that's the end so i don't th there's a hallway there but that's not that's not for the base. But with that, it's going to be the end of the episode for me. I mean, I've done, I've done nothing. I went exploring, didn't find anything, came back, spent way too long just trying to figure out how to get my base to work um, and how long it actually is. But it, it, it didn't work. Um, so I do apologize for literally doing nothing. But until next time, guys... I think that's going to do it. I'm sorry. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next episode. Adios.